President Trump tweeted his endorsement of Ohio Congressman Jim Renacci, who's running for the Senate. Here's the tweet. Jim Renacci has worked so hard on tax reductions, illegal immigration, the border and crime. I need Jim very badly to help our agenda and to keep making America great again. He will be a fantastic senator for the great state of Ohio and has my full endorsement. Congressman Renacci joins us now. Is that what you wanted? Did you want a full-scale presidential endorsement? Well, Stuart, good morning. And I'm a big supporter of the president. I want to see his agenda move forward, so I'm happy to help him when it comes to the Senate. It's one of the reasons I jumped into this Senate race. We've got to move the agenda forward. Too much stalls in the Senate because of partisanship and not getting things done. I'm the guy that wants to get uh, this moving. And in Ohio, that's very important because Ohio does support this president. There is a as I travel this state, I see more and more people. That's the first thing they ask me. Do you support the president? I say I absolutely do, and they're happy to hear that. Now, has the tax cut and the deregulation program that the president has pushed through over the last 18 months, has that really helped the economy of Ohio? Can you say definitively that the last year and a half have been really good for Ohio? Well, I believe it is, and as I travel the state, I'm hearing people thanking me. I'm seeing businesses across the state that are giving out bonuses. I was talking to a business yesterday that's going to expand now and do some things they couldn't have done without this tax money. So, yes, absolutely, in Ohio, it's moving forward, especially small business, and I think that's the key. Small business is the driver of the economy, and I'm seeing that as I travel Ohio. Therefore, I have to ask you about uh, Senator Marco Rubio. Look at what he said about the tax law. For the benefit of our viewers, I'm going to quote this again. There's no evidence whatsoever that the money's been massively poured back into the American worker. So that is a slam on the tax deal. What say you? Well, I disagree with Senator Rubio. Again, I, as I travel Ohio, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing people saying we're going to expand. I'm seeing people getting more in their paycheck. I'm seeing people, out, the employees, thanking me for the money they're getting more in their paycheck. So I'm seeing it, but I'm traveling the state. I'm talking to a lot of small business owners. Senator Rubio, it may, might be different in Miami, but I got to tell you, in Ohio, it's helping. Well, maybe Senator Rubio is putting some space between himself and the president because the president is not universally popular. That's why I asked, is a presidential endorsement really what you want? Well, again, as I told you, in Ohio, the president has a, a strong base of support. I think there's an outside poll that came out, has him at 54 or 55 percent in the state of Ohio. So people here like what he's doing. They like that he's pushing the economy, moving things. It's about the jobs and the economy. They're seeing it. They're happy. And I think in the end, it's always good to be on the side of the president who's getting things done. Do you have to go through a primary before you are the senatorial candidate for the Republican? There is a, prim there is a primary, Stuart, in six days. It's, uh, I'll be glad when it's over as well. There are a number of people running. By the way, everybody in the primary uh, talks about being with the president. I'm the only one that has the support of the president. And when does the primary vote take place? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay, we'll be there for that. Jim Renacci, thank you very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.